my whole life for this one. Yeah. Another one. Okay, you'll need at least three rolls of rhinestone trim, eight millimeter jump rings, a pair of clasps, any size scissors, a hot glue gun, and plenty of glue sticks. And I forgot to show it, but you'll also need an exacto blade to cut through the rows of rhinestone and a tape measure. So here I'm just taking the measurement from my waist and cutting a row of rhinestone to that measurement. And then I'm going to figure out what measurement I'm going to use to make my diamonds. Um, for each row that makes up the diamond, I think I did one inch and I just repeated that until all the rows were cut up. And then here I just took a jump ring and my one inch row of rhinestone and I looped through two rhinestones and then I took my hot glue gun and just glued it and pressed down. And after that, you're just going to want to repeat that three more times. So you're going to have a total of four rows of rhinestone on each jump ring. And I forgot to show this also in the video, but to attach the top row of diamonds to the waistband, I just took a row that consisted of five rhinestones, and then I looped through two rhinestones through the top jump ring. And then I took the smooth side of the row and glued that to the back of the waistband. And to attach the clasp, you just take it to either side of the waistband and just glue it down. Um, pretty self-explanatory. And you just want to make sure that you don't glue the actual part where the two sides meet. Um, and voila, you have your DIY rhinestone cage skirt that everyone's going to be fawning over and realizing how extra you are. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if it didn't make any sense, I'm so sorry. <laughs> description box down below for links to all the supplies I use in this video and right below that I'll have a link to all the coupons you can use at those specific stores and also I'll link down below the article that Jack Nith did and she also did the pictures for the Josephine Baker shoot that I styled for with Jessica who was my model and I loved working with her. Check back in a few days. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a blog post on Swedish Stitch um, blog with written instructions of this exact same process that I recorded just in case. I'm hoping that having them written down for you guys will help you better um, if this didn't 
Also, I will link the original video where I got the inspiration from. She did it with um, leather straps instead, so I just switched it to like rhinestones to um, match the trend and you know, be bougie. But yeah, if you wanna check that video out, I'm pretty sure she explains it a little bit better than me. It was kinda of hard to show you guys every single process just because I had already started it for the shoot and before finishing it, I decided to just do it on camera just in case anyone else was interested because I thought it was pretty cool. If you want to leave a comment down below if you like this video and place a crown emoji, I guess and share, subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram because your girl got so many good pics coming up. And yeah, I'll see you next week. I'm gonna be doing a room tour of Ackle, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. 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 Ain't nobody rocking like this. Ain't nobody out there swift like this. Everywhere